Campus erupted in protest Monday in reaction to the anti-gay rhetoric of one Mr. James DeFario. He came to campus to spread his message or perhaps to invoke a reaction. I got a chance to speak with him. Right, what are you doing here? Well, if you're the one that called me, yes. I never thought about coming to SUNY Purchase. Until yeah, you I told me you weren't going to come here. I, I started thinking about it. I, I didn't even know there was a SUNY Purchase. I was doing all the upstate colleges. Uh huh. I did 13 of them last fall. Okay. Some, two of them I went back multiple times. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm here. Not the, it's not hate. I, but I call people uh, to question what their own motive is. Are you hating God and are you hating truth? Okay. I'm calling people. I used to be a hater of God. I used to be a hater of truth. I considered myself an atheist. And my motto was live and let live. Uh, somebody wants to kill themselves through drugs or whatever it is, let them do it. Uh huh. Uh, now, I got saved. And God can save me. He can save anybody. My sin wasn't homosexuality. It was... Uh, Fornication, which is premarital sex, uh -huh. thievery, stealing, that kind of thing. Yes. Uh, God saved me, gave me a love for Him, a love for truth, and a love for people. Okay. So I come to college campuses. We don't I mean, you receive do... any donations whatsoever. We do this at our own cost. All right. We had to get a motel I mean, room you last do know, night. I mean, you do know that this campus, like the, the, the makeup of this Syracuse, campus, I'll right? You. I mean, you do know the makeup of this campus. Well, it doesn't matter. Jesus went where the sinners were. Uh huh. What? So you, I mean, you, I actually, are you, I mean, are you comparing yourself to Jesus? I've actually been to some churches and preach to them too. Uh-huh. Free of them! Okay, I mean, yeah, keep going. And so I came here to share the gospel. Uh-huh. Uh, people talk about tolerance, but when somebody truly brings uh, different viewpoints, different opinion, uh -huh. then they want to shut you down. Okay. So like, no more free speech. We can't tolerate that. Uh -huh. We can only tolerate people who agree with us. Okay. And I'm saying that's not tolerance. That's not love. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, and the police had to set up the barrier. I'm sure if the police weren't here, we would have been beaten up by now. I don't think that that would have happened. I got to tell you the truth. No, that's not the way this campus is, man. There's, there's no violence here. There's little, there's very little fighting or violence. I mean, when it happens, it's people from off campus that come. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're basing that on. I mean, other than the fact that, that there's a lot of gay people here, but I, I, don't, I don't know many violent okay, gay people. Shoot, shoot the barrier like uh, that. Yeah, I mean, we had, a, we had a concert like two weeks ago. We had a barrier up for it, too. And how did the campus respond to these Christian warriors? They're fucking disgusting, man. Oh, I don't know what they think they're doing. You know, it's people are jokes. We've been following them doing? since way back in the student it's services building. Right. It's, it's absolutely right. ridiculous. What do you think of coming to purchase? Like, one of the most gay-friendly campuses, like, what the ever. He does go here. What are you miss? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Which begs the question, what the hell are you trying to accomplish? This is James O'Donnell for The Purchase Brick.